All right, last run before I uh, switch games. Three, two, one, let's go. I punched you in the face. Come on, timed hits. Timed hits. Time the hits and you will juggle them good. For the most part. Six seconds? Fuck, man. I didn't think I was doing that good, but goddamn. Big pat on the back for that. Dude, that's like. That's just humanly amazing. Okay, I. I, I kinda half assed. That was kind of half well done. That was kind of half well done with the uh, birds. I didn't kill enough birds to to load the gold poster there. I'm I'm still like wowed by the uh, 46 seconds on the first level. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. I thought 47 was the most. Eh, actually, no, no. You can beat it in 40 seconds, but you have to play like a task, and the AI has to act accordingly. But humanly, uh, I thought 47 was was mostly achievable. No, I got a 46. I gotta complete the run just for that. Dude, that 46 is insane. Alright, okay, full health. One, two. Dodge of 27 rats. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, it's okay. I can tank the hits anyways. Oh, that was that was that was a good start. Really? 2.5? I guess those sunfish ship really didn't number on the on the uh, speed. Let's make this last run a good run. Of course, I, it's got to get burned, right? If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. I don't know how that happened, by the way. Jump high, and then there we go. I like the blue color scheme here. It, it really uh, illustrates the blue sky really well. If you time that jump just right as you uh, grab the rope... It'll look as if you never touched the rope at all. Right, I gotta play it safe. This guy does so much damage to you when he uh, when he touches you. Now, if you were a task, you would have just like jumped off of that like immediately. One, two, three and a half. No, that was good. That was good. Couldn't ask for anything better. You know what? I think I'm jumping too high half the time. Like when I'm transitioning from one uh, platform to the other. I needed to do low jumps. But you don't want to accidentally fall in the water. But then again, the, the distance between the two platforms are so short that I can just hop a little bit. So I might just need to optimize my playstyle there. Because usually I just jump really high. Oh, right, it's because, um, I think it's so that I could land the jump punches, like, uh, efficiently. Because if you're too, if you jump way too low, you might not, uh, enter in with a jump punch, which is, uh, tricky. So, my, my strat is just safe. Safe for doing the, uh, jump punch and, jump punch ground trend, uh, jump punch transition to ground pound. JP to GP. JP to GP. Jump punch to ground pound. 
If only you could do a jumping pound, but that sounds like a dirty sex move. So now just hovering these past two, uh, these last two areas. Because the only real challenge is the first two uh, river race, or not, the river course, with the logs and the whirlpools. Even though they're not random, they're set, but they're they're the only ones that actually pose a pose a challenge that would slow down the run. If you get hit by things, it you lose like half a second for it. And you don't want to get hit by the things over here because they do two-thirds damage if you somehow get hit. I don't even know how like even a kid would get hit by this stuff. Because there's just like because I've been hit by it in the past when I uh, played this on the on the Game Boy. That was really slow bashing right there. All right, come on. Uh, I chickened out because I I entered that I entered that part a little slow, so I have to chicken out there again. Oh, look that, it's a full run. It is a full run. I'm pretty sure if there's a there's a like um there's a timing thing where it's like, okay, you just keep doing this, bounce off this, and then you quickly get here as soon as possible, do the jump, and you should always land the pixel. It's also because the screen shake affects uh the ceiling, so. When you're jumping for the tooth pixel, you will uh, miss the shot if you don't do it fast enough. Because by the time you do the punch, by the time you do the punch, the pixel for the tooth like shifts, and then it's like, oh well, in that split second, uh, the out of bounds trick is done. So you have, so it's preferable to do it when the brain isn't shaking the the tunnel system. Now I could do the uh, out of bounds thing like around here, like if I wanted to, but it's kind of pointless. Especially when he catches up to you really fast over here. I also had a backup strat where I would dash past the uh, boulder. You can actually avoid him on that tunnel where I was trying to do the out of bounds trick, but the hit detection is very wonky in this game, in this race especially. Do a little hop so I can just like start walking down. It's slightly faster. Slightly faster. It saves the frames. Damn it, Matt! Why do you have to make me question uh, me like changing the emotes that I made? Because I had this, uh, I had this emote called sh "shave the shave the frames," and I was like, "Oh, nobody wants nobody wants to use that." But it's so like, it works in situations. It's like, "Hey, shave the frames, shave the frames." I just thought it'd be funny. I mean, I'll have the emote back. I'll have the emote back, but uh, for now I have like, I uh, uh, I sent in some new emotes because, well, when you only have like spot for three emotes, it's kind of hard to uh, expand your library list. Four point seven. That's pretty fine. I missed a few hits uh, on Big Black, so that's why it's slightly slower. But man, I was getting those like sub three seconds on him. And that was pretty amazing. <sighs> What's not amazing is this Langolier just like, just like swooping in and just hitting me right there as I arrive. That was the worst Langlier I've ever had to fight. God damn it. God damn it. Well, thanks a lot, game. Fudge! At least I didn't spawn at the last uh, checkpoint. Or, last place I died at. Yeah. 
Yeah, I used to mash during this, but then it's like, uh, oh, just do the timed hits and you'll always, like, juggle him. You'll always juggle him, which is good. 7.8 seconds, jeez. That's rough. That is rough. That is rough. By the way, this level is pretty hard, because not only are you timed, but it's very, very easy to die. Oh yeah, I saw the Resident Evil uh, remake uh, randomizer, and I was like, oh, that seems actually kind of funny to play. I'm kind of opening up a bit to the uh, randomizer idea. Alright, just gonna bust your arms. And I hit a bit of get a hit a bit of head there. Don't get fucked. This run's already wrecked. Dude, he had he had like two health left. Oh my god, new record! I have a new record. What? Wait, wait, you're telling me that I was only late by a 1.4 seconds? Damn, I didn't think it was that fast. That's a new... 11.20 for the full run, that's a new PB. That's a new PB. Just before 600 uh, attempts. So not only did I get the first level, the first level of Battletoad, done in 46 seconds. That's damn impressive. But I got the, um... I got the 1120 for the 1120 for uh, doing a full run. Damn, that that is impressive. Uh, this time it was like before 40 minutes. Okay, got it. Wow, that's a that's a really good way to end the end that game. So I'm gonna switch over to the ignition factor. I'm gonna switch over to the ignition factor because that's the new game project I'm trying to work on, and I didn't get to play it yesterday. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If you're wondering why I'm like doing like small exercises and stuff, it's uh just needed to stretch. I needed to stretch because I've been sitting a lot recently, and that's not healthy. And that's not healthy at all. All right, so let's switch the uh, time to switch the time to ignition factors. Oh wait, hang on. Just go back to this briefly for a moment. 